Welcome to Wearable Wednesday here at Adafruit. Today we're tackling a common wearables question, which is how do you make the board easily removable for use in multiple projects or in case you want to wash your garment? And I'll show you one solution, which is snaps. We carry these super tiny 5mm snaps because they're the perfect size for the pads on the flora, because you wouldn't want them bumping into each other. On the right is the stud half of the snap, and on the left is the socket. Since the studs sit a bit flatter on the surface, we'll use those to solder onto the back of the flora board. And there's a complete tutorial accompanying this video on the Adafruit Learning System to show you all of the tools you'll need and each step. The first step is to tin the pads of the flora. You want to apply a small amount of solder with your hot soldering iron to lay down this base layer of what will act kind of like glue to attach the snap. Once there's a little pool, you can move it around with the soldering iron to evenly distribute it. Heat up the stud with your soldering iron and start in an area that has a small hole in it, and that should help remelt the solder that you tinned with earlier. And then apply another small amount of solder, which should seep into those holes, providing a really secure connection to the board. You might see a little bit of discoloration, and that's the tin plate on top of the brass that these snaps are made out of moving around from the heat of the soldering iron. You can repeat this tinning and soldering process for the rest of the pads on the flora. When the board is completely cool, you can test fit your sockets. You want to make sure they don't touch each other and also that they nestle correctly against the studs. If there's too much solder, it can get in the way, but you can fix that with a little bit of solder wick. Next, it's time to figure out where we're going to sew the sockets. So you can take the snappy flora board and just kind of press it down and wiggle it on your garment. And the points of the studs will make small marks where you'll sew your sockets. You can accentuate these marks with another marking tool or a chalk pencil or one of those water dissolvable fabric markers, whatever you like. And then bring your conductive thread from the back to the front of your fabric and through one of the holes on the socket. Use little stitches to anchor the socket to your garment and then stitch over to whatever component you're connecting to that pin on the flora. And then repeat to attach another socket directly opposite the flora board. Whenever I'm making a knot with conductive thread, I like to seal it with fray check or a clear nail polish before trimming the ends. This double ensures it won't come undone and also helps seal any uh, fraying tails that might move around and short my circuit. Each time you add a new socket, it's important to test to make sure your flora snaps on easily and also has no shorts. So use a multimeter between your pads and make sure there's no connection. If your circuit only calls for connections on part of the whole circle of the flora board, you might want to add a couple sockets with a plain thread just to mechanically connect that part of the flora to your project to make it more secure. Once you've got all the components of your circuit connected, you can snap your flora into position as well as any other boards like this GPS module I also made snappy, and then plug in your power supply and use the onboard power switch to power up your project. If you make your flora removable, you could use it in many different projects as you're often only wearing one of them at a time. Here's a jacket we made with LEDs around the collar and a GPS on the sleeve. And all you have to do to take it off is power down your project, disconnect your battery, and unsnap it. I'll show you how to make this jacket in a future episode, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube.